<laughs> well, Jeff, because he is big and he is beautiful, and you're about to see him. Now, I talked to the nature photographer who got some of the first photos of him. Now, she moved here from the East Coast years ago, and she said she saw the warning signs for watch for mountain lions. She almost didn't believe we had them, so she set up cameras and struck gold. Well, I just wondered, how, how come I never see them? How come nobody ever sees them? Joanna Turner and her friend Denny Calais were the first to discover and photograph the new mountain lion in the Verdugo Mountains, nicknamed Adonis. And here was this really big, beautiful lion, and I thought, that's not anybody I've seen before. So all of a sudden we knew we had a new cougar in town. <laughs> Adonis is the first male in nine months spotted in the area since the death of P-41, who died in the Latuna Canyon fire. It's huge, really. I Earlier in the week, I'd said, we've got to, find, we, we've got to get a new uh, cougar into the in, into the Vertigos because P41 had passed. Now Akita's there by herself. Ah yes, Akita. She's the only known female in the area, and she's already been spotted with Adonis, which hopefully leads to litters of kittens. So how did Adonis get his nickname? From two nature buffs gossiping over the new cat in town. I I think I was saying like, look how beautiful he is. He's gorgeous. He's young, and look at his muscles. And so she just started using Adonis as a shorthand rather than the new Verdugo male every time. And that just stuck instantly. <laughs> now, Mountain Lion's normal range is about 200 square miles. The Verdugo Mountains behind me, it's only about 22 square miles. Griffith Park is just eight square miles. That's where our most famous cat lives, P-22. So the Conservancy says we just need to build more corridors, give them some more space so we have mountain lions in the future. Jeff and Susie, here's to Adonis and may many kittens be born after this. Oh, we hope so, Suzanne. Thank you.